myself a nice mountain bike. I've never had a nice mountain bike. The last one that I had came from Target. Uh, so this one is light years ahead of that one, I'd say. Uh, but we're gonna get headed back to the house so I can change into some shorts. And then we're gonna go ride some trails and I guess go over what that bike actually is. Uh, not that I know anything about what I'm talking about. So anyways, stay tuned y'all, a little bit different. But uh, it's a birthday present to myself. Today's my birthday. So we'll see how this one turns out. Hopefully I don't bust my dome. All right, guys. So here we are. I have changes, some shorts. Uh, kind of the dumb thing is I should have got a bag or something for this thing because I'm going to have to carry my backpack so that I have like my wallet and stuff because uh, I can't carry it in my shorts or even my phone. It would fall out. But we're going to hop on this thing and we're going to ride down to some trails that we've got around here and I guess then we'll kind of go over this thing even though like I said I really don't know what I'm talking about but this thing seems pretty nice Ooh, and the shocks are adjustable yeah I don't know what I'm doing but let's ride it this feels good man it's been a while it's comfortable the seat as hard as a rock that sucks might have to upgrade that The gears work great. It's actually kind of chilly out here too. Here's the start of the actual trail. All right, I'm already out of breath, but got the creek flowing through here, little, little rapids down there. And the regular trail goes off this way. On that side, there's an actual like mountain bike course. I'm not ready for that yet. Maybe we'll eventually we'll hit that, but let's keep running down this trail. Got a froth course down here. I guess we gotta take this trail. Oh shit. I don't know what any of those signs mean. Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't realize these trails were over here like this. way more serious than I thought. I'm sure probably some of y'all probably are looking at it like it's a joke, but oh.
Oh shit, look at that. Not doing that. They go off everywhere here and then you got a regular trail here. Well, there we go, guys. Uh, I went all the way around and then came out this. And there's some crazy trails back there. But I'm not ready for that yet. I hit a very small portion of it. So what I picked up was, is a Trek Marlin 4. I think out of the Marlin series, this is the first one, I believe. Uh, 29 inch tires, uh, front fork suspension that is adjustable it does have dampers on here pretty basic bike setup but it's comfortable i did have them add a little bottle holder but i don't have a bottle that'll fit in there large frame size just overall really nice like the the stuff is ran inside of the frame on both sides so i grabbed my phone i guess i can uh, kind of read you what it says about the marlin 4 here on trek's website says the Marlin 4 is the perfect gateway into trail riding. It's ideal for new riders who want a mountain bike with knobby tires that can double as a rugged commuter. Disc brakes, front suspension, 21 speeds, uh, and mounts in a rack for fenders make this a great bike for new trail riders and campus commuters alike. So yeah, it's a nice bike. Mechanical disc brakes. It's first bike, although and it's not the first one that I've had with disc brakes, but the first nice bike I've had with disc brakes. But I'm going to hop back on here because i got to ride all the way to the other side of town to get home. And, uh, yeah, I guess if you're wondering, I did picked it up from Cycle Works in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's off of uh, 27th and Vine. So let's hop back on here and keep pushing. I, it's kicking my ass, to be honest with you guys. Nice old Chevy. Hell, I've got another two wheel thing in the garage taking up space. Sweet. I don't even know where to put this. This might have to go in the house, y'all. All right. Well, I've made it back. And I am out of breath, y'all. Well, it's a great bike. The seat is really hard, but given the fact that it's a mountain bike, most of the time you're not sitting down on the seat anyways. Um, I might end up getting a seat dropper. Uh, I guess for those of you who don't know, it's like you get a little button on your handlebar somewhere or something like that. And you can push that button and your seat will drop all the way down with your body weight to as low as it'll go. So if you're riding really hard or whatever, it's not in your way. And then if you push the button, I believe it's air, it's an air spring or something. It'll pop back up to your preset location. I'm not really that serious about it, but I can see how that's definitely useful. Uh, I haven't actually checked the message yet, but somebody messaged on Instagram. I saw... 
uh, in my notification, something about the grips, to change the grips out because these were hard or whatever. But uh, other than that, other than the seat hurting my cheekbones, uh, it's a really nice bike. And it's black, black and white. Uh, a lot of this stuff is funky colors, and I'm not a fan of bright colors, if you guys haven't noticed yet. Uh, but it's a great bike. Um, great entry-level name brand, I guess you can say. And I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Um, have to figure out which trips I'll be taking it on, and things like that. I don't know if I'm going to carry it around on every camping trip I do. But just for me personally, I'd like to do that loop that I just did. Uh, a few times a week and try to knock some of this gut down because uh, it has not always been I'm, I haven't always been this thick uh, but uh, yeah guys nice little birthday present to myself and uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and close this one out here so I can get the video out and have some time to go out to dinner with the wife tonight and then we're going to get back to some camping I don't know if I'll even have this with me on the next camping video because I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we'll see how that turns out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit different, uh, but it should make for a great camping and adventure accessory to maybe do some more exploring around some of the small towns that I visit. So y'all, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. They say anything negative, cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use to go ahead and run my mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots I tell you get big box, you get yachts, you swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top think they need replacement?